Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Fu Xuan and why she's an amazing character to look forward to. There are two types of players in this game. Those people who have Locha and those who don't. So for those players who have Locha, you definitely know how OP it is and how it is very easy to go through Memory of Chaos with Locha on manual play or even auto play for those who don't know we were able to do 30 stars fully clear on auto play with a low spender account which is monthly pass and battle pass and locha heavily helped in that so where does fu Xuan come in all of this very simple fu Xuan is literally the next locha type of character she is very overtuned with a very packed kit with plenty of different goodies of what she can can do for those who are not familiar with her kit i'll go quickly over through her kit there won't be any numbers or anything that would be you know what kind of territory that however doesn't like let's go over it so she's a quantum preservation tank type character basically her skill activates matrix of prescience for a set number of turns which allows fu Xuan to absorb a percentage of damage taken by allies and also this matrix of prescience will grant allies max hp and crit rate via the skill ability which is very nice as for the numbers those who know that's cool as for her ultimate she will deal aoe damage to all enemies it increases the frequency of her talent hp restoration so what is her talent exactly and this hp restoration first of all she will apply a buff that will reduce the damage your team takes and also when she drops below a certain amount of hp HP, she will recover HP instantly and this ability can be re-triggered by using the ultimate which is very nice for those who played Genshin think of it something like Deia but way 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 better and actually can tank she's gonna keep you alive just fine even with free to play we're gonna go through her options and all that stuff but overall she is an amazing character I'm very looking forward to it also her technique just like Locha allows you to start with the skill on field which is very very nice you will get the ability for her to take damage away from your teammates to herself so the thing that makes fushun really amazing is her kit is extremely packed she also potentially has more things to her kit wink wink that however would not like you to let you know but if you looked around you're probably aware her kit is extremely packed she has a lot of goodies she's basically an overtuned character my assumption is that healers and tanks don't make as much money than damage dealers it seems to me that a lot of casual players just want to keep pulling damage dealers because apparently locha according to some sites did not make much of revenue in china on ios which is very interesting because locha is an overtuned character but did not sell that well whatsoever of course fushuan could potentially sell more but there you also have to keep in mind that Jing Liu is just around the corner and there will definitely a lot of people save gems for that instead so Fu Xuan could easily fall down the radar so my advice for you guys would be for those who care about memory of chaos and if you want to make your life easier in memory of chaos getting OP sustains of locha level like and Fu Xuan is gonna make your life easier I noticed a lot of people are recommending or saying you already have natasha march 7 and fire mc for sustain just get those damage dealers and so on but a lot of these people don't point out one very interesting thing if you go the other way around where you pick op sustains and op supports think of it something like silver wolf your four star damage dealers are actually enough damage to get you 30 stars anyway but by having op supports and sustainers you make memory of chaos way Way, way smoother to play no more those stupid pesky refreshes rng wipes left and right characters like locha and fu Xuan will minimize that extensively of course they still need certain amount of investment the better you have the easier it's gonna be she almost could be like a cheat code just like locha to some extent for those who did not play locha yet try him in support play or something like that you'll see what i'm talking about he is really powerful and fu Xuan is just the same 
him, if not potentially even a bit better. Because she has certain goodies that Locha doesn't, but Locha has still this spell for going for him. So my advice for who is Fushwen actually good for? Fushwen is, like Locha, good for every account. She works virtually in every team, just like Locha. There is no, like, floor situation in Memory of Chaos, teammate lineup, or enemies where you could say Fushwen doesn't work. She literally will work everywhere. Of course, the crit rate buff from Fushwen will not be as beneficial for Kafka team, but you would still keep your team alive and everything just the same as if you played Locha. So she is really, really nice. I'm super excited about Fushwen. Fushwen options might be even more free to play friendly than Locha, which is very, very interesting. Because technically, Locha is also very free to play friendly character, but Locha Lightcons, some of his best options are gacha four star options. The quid pro quo, the crafted one, is not so great. For Fushwen, you can literally get texture of memories, which is completely free to play, craftable, very nice, provides effect resistance, provides a shield which scales on max HP, which she does scale of HP, and also a bit of damage reduction. My assumption it is that damage reduction and defense resistance will be calculated before she takes the damage for the team. So, it should be pretty good overall. I like it a lot. The option is amazing. There is also Lando Choice, which is a 4-star light con. You might have it. Could work. If you already have this build, you could use it, but otherwise, just save your Hertha Bonds for Texture of Memories. It should work even on S1. If you looked around, you probably know. My recommendation for Fushwan accounts would be for those people who are either trying to go for Mono Quantum at some point when they add more good quantum characters to play actually full team you could always wait for a rerun or if you do not have lotion on your account and potentially another sustainer five star unit so if you're an account you have none of them let's say you only have fire mc natasha march 7 then definitely fushwan banner would be a godsend for you you get fushwan you get links as well you can get one on each side there are some things that we'll talk about links in another video but let's leave it at that for now if you do already have lotion in your account you could just play lotion on one side and get fushwen on the other as well it's going to be extremely powerful and you will be using lotion on one side fushwen on the other side for the entire 10 floors because for damage dealer five stars there could be a floor okay it's not the good element for this type of character or it has certain higher damage resistances or even immunities to the element of the damage dealer and you might not be able to bring them to their fullest meanwhile characters like fushwen and locha will literally work to their fullest on every floor every team pretty damn good of course their sort of ability and keeping the team alive will work to the fullest on any floor you will play from one to ten each side wherever you decide to put them if you have them your life will be extremely easy basically a cheat code and i cannot stress enough that you do not need five star event characters to get 30 stars four star characters on this account for example my free to play account i used hook i used several we were able to get 30 stars just fine heck we even got 26 stars on auto play unfortunately for the other three stars especially in floor 10 it was very difficult on auto play because Sele didn't do that well on auto play yes it was actually Sele that kind of had difficulties the himeko hook stuff actually worked pretty well surprisingly yeah i just wanted to talk a bit about fushwen i know she's not coming around yet i'm completely aware of that but there are a lot of people that that we'll see a lot of Dunhang IL stuff very soon. I know it's gonna be really good, very powerful damage dealer, but think about what you want for your account, okay? As I always say, pick the characters that you like the most, but if you're looking to increase the power and efficiency of your account to higher levels, aiming for supports and OP sustainers is a pretty good safe choice. Very future proof, works on multiple type of teams, slash and environments meanwhile damage dealers will not work necessarily on every single floor to their fullest and also your current damage dealers are pretty good enough to clear the floors of memory of chaos 30 stars if you build them properly you could also of course say the argument about having the sustainers like natasha and so on and that it's just fine it is true but the difference of difficulty of how much easier you make it with an op sustainer compared to with an OP damage dealer, I would say pretty big because your OP damage dealer at T0 is not gonna magically
actually nullify what enemies do at E0, that is. Meanwhile, the supports like Locha and Fu Xuan will literally nullify a lot of things that enemies do from CC gimmicks to their damage and whatnot. So your survival is going to be pretty stable and just going to come down to like getting your damage rotations right with your characters or picking the right compositions of damage dealers to clear the set floors. You should be pretty good with that. Personally, I'm looking forward to Fu Xuan more than Nanhang IL. I'm not pulling Nanhang IL on either of my accounts because uh, damage dealers, there are going to be so many of them released over the year. More than tanks and supports and healers, they're going to be much more scarce. And I will just wait for a damage dealer that I truly, truly like and that what I will pull. That would be all for this video. If you enjoyed it, guys, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Honky Star Rail content. I wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video.